Imagine driving a car that never needs to stop at a gas station or plug into a charging port. Now picture that same car cruising across cities, highways, and remote villages with the same steady hum as the first moment you turned it on. That is the promise of Maxwell Chikambuzo's self-powered EV, a machine that claims to defy the rules we thought we knew about energy. We got the chance to test this car ourselves, and what we found left us shocked in ways we weren't prepared for. Seven discoveries stood out, and they may change the way you think about transportation forever. The first thing we noticed was how silent the car really is. Most electric cars already run more quietly than gasoline engines, but this was different. There was no subtle whirring, no faint vibration from energy conversion, just smooth silence. It felt almost eerie, like the car was gliding on invisible rails instead of tires gripping asphalt. We kept waiting for a sound that never came, and the quietness set the tone for the entire journey. The second finding came when we checked the dashboard for power usage. On a traditional EV, you watch the battery percentage drop slowly as you drive. But here, the indicator simply stayed put, as if frozen in time. We drove for hours, then checked again, but the percentage hadn't moved. It was as though the car was sipping from an infinite well of energy. That alone left us speechless, because every instinct told us it should have drained. The third shocker revealed itself when we pushed the car on a long-distance highway stretch. Normally, range anxiety keeps EV drivers alert, scanning for the next charging point. But on this trip, the range number didn't shrink. We clocked over 400 miles in one stretch, then another 200, then another 300, and the gauge still refused to budge. Felt like cheating reality itself. Our brains couldn't fully process the idea that the range was infinite in practical terms. Then came the fourth finding, something we didn't expect at all. We stopped the car, turned it off and opened the hood. Inside, we expected to see a battery pack or at least some obvious energy storage system. Instead, what we found looked almost alien. It wasn't a normal motor, and it wasn't a typical EV architecture. The components were arranged in a way that felt experimental, like a prototype still being fine-tuned. And yet, despite the odd layout, it worked flawlessly. There was no bulky charging port, no clear external power source, and no standard powertrain that we could recognize. It was as if Maxwell had skipped decades of incremental progress and leapt into a new paradigm altogether. Our fifth finding struck us when we tested the acceleration. Electric cars are already known for instant torque, but this car had a strange kind of consistency. The power delivery never dipped, never faltered, and never seemed to strain. It was as if the car didn't care how long you demanded peak performance, it just kept giving. We floored it again and again, expecting some heat build up, some limitation, or at least a warning signal. But nothing came. The acceleration was endless, like tapping into a bottomless reservoir of torque. It didn't feel real, and yet it was happening right under our hands. The sixth shock came during a stress test we didn't even plan. We drove the car through rough terrain, steep inclines, and long hill climbs. Most EVs burn through battery reserves quickly in those conditions, forcing the driver to recharge sooner than expected. But here, the car powered through like the terrain didn't matter. No matter how hard we pushed it, the system never gave any sign of weakening. We even left the headlights on, cranked up the AC, blasted the sound system, and charged devices from the internal ports all at once. Still, the car refused to acknowledge any drain. It felt like the laws of physics were being bent before our eyes. And then came the seventh and perhaps the most shocking discovery. We parked the car overnight in a cold environment, a condition that usually eats into battery efficiency. When we started it again in the morning, the power levels hadn't shifted at all. It was as if time itself had no effect on the car's energy system. Every other EV we've tested showed at least a small loss overnight. This one, zero. It was frozen in place, a perpetual machine that seemed immune to the natural entropy of energy. That was the moment we realized this wasn't just a car. It was a proof of concept that might rewrite what we know about energy storage and consumption. Our experience didn't end with just the seven findings, though. Each mile raised new questions that only deepened the mystery. If this car truly generates its own power endlessly, what does that mean for the global energy industry? 
What does it mean for oil companies, for utilities, and even for governments whose revenues depend on fuel taxes? The ripple effects of this technology, if scaled, could destabilize entire economies. At the same time, it could liberate billions of people who live without reliable power or affordable fuel. It could shrink carbon emissions overnight without needing massive infrastructure changes. It could transform transportation from a limited resource into a universal right. And yet, the very scale of its impact makes it a target for suppression. As we continued testing, one thing became clear. This car doesn't just challenge the status quo, it threatens it. We've seen disruptive technologies before, from the printing press to the internet. But rarely have we seen something so poised to shake every corner of daily life. The more we drove, the more we realized why this invention had been met with skepticism and resistance. It's not just about whether the technology works, it's about who controls it. If Maxwell Chikambutso holds the key to limitless transport energy, then he holds a key to the future itself. And history has shown that such keys are rarely handed over without struggle. But for now, what we experienced was real. We drove the car. We tested it under multiple conditions. And the findings were undeniable. Seven shocking realities that should not exist in one vehicle, and yet they did. Silence, infinite range, alien engineering, endless acceleration, unshakable terrain performance, resistance to energy drain, and immunity to time. Each one would be remarkable on its own. Together, they are revolutionary. The car itself doesn't look outlandish from the outside. It blends in with other EVs, sleek and modern but not flashy. That's what makes the experience even stranger, because it hides its impossible secret in plain sight. There is nothing on the exterior that screams impossible machine. It rolls down the street like any other vehicle. And yet, beneath that shell, it holds the power to upend entire industries. The understated design may even be intentional, a way to keep the car from drawing unwanted attention before its time. During the test, we also noticed something fascinating about heat. EVs often generate heat in the battery and motor during sustained performance, but here, the system stayed remarkably cool. We ran temperature checks multiple times, expecting heat spikes under heavy loads. But the readings stayed low, almost suspiciously low. That raised even more questions about how energy was flowing inside the system. Was it truly self-generating power? Or was it tapping into something entirely different, like ambient radio waves or electromagnetic fields? The truth is, we don't know. But whatever it was, it worked. And it worked consistently, with no hiccups or failures across hundreds of miles. We pushed the test further by driving into areas with no signal, no power grid, and no external interference. We wanted to see if the car's performance changed under isolation. Didn't. The same smooth, endless performance followed us into the middle of nowhere. That suggested the system wasn't relying on outside broadcast towers or hidden external energy feeds. Instead, it seemed completely self-contained, as if its source was locked inside the machine itself. The implications are staggering. Imagine a fleet of buses running on this technology, never needing fuel depots or charging stations. Imagine freight trucks that can cross continents without stopping for fuel. Imagine aircraft and ships adopting similar designs, slashing global logistics costs. The economic ripple would be unprecedented. Energy independence would become the norm instead of the exception. Entire regions currently cut off from global trade due to fuel costs could suddenly join the grid of commerce. The technology doesn't just change cars, it changes civilizations. Still, we remain cautious. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. And while our test was thorough, we are aware of the skepticism this technology faces. Scientists and engineers will demand peer-reviewed evidence, transparent blueprints, and replicable demonstrations. Until that happens, the broader world may remain doubtful. But from where we sit, after hours and hours inside the machine, the experience was too consistent to dismiss as a trick. It worked under too many varied conditions to be an illusion. We don't claim to fully understand the mechanics, but we can confirm the reality of the ride. At the end of the test, we sat quietly in the parked car, reflecting on what we had just experienced. There was a strange calm in the cabin, a silence that felt both futuristic and ancient, 
as if tapping into a power source that had always been there, waiting to be unlocked. We knew we had witnessed something rare, something history may look back on as the spark of a new age. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered EV is not just a car. It is a question to the world. Are we ready for technology that frees us completely from the old energy chains? Are we prepared for a future where the impossible becomes the everyday? Because after seven shocking findings on the road, we are convinced that future is closer than anyone thinks.